Good morning everybody and welcome to maths. Today we're looking at arrays again, okay? And we know that arrays can be in rows and they can be in columns and we can write that multiplication from arrays two ways. Now then, there are two YouTube clips that you can have a look at if you want about how how to make and how to do arrays, but I have some images also. So what is an array? It is an arrangement of equal groups of objects in rows and columns, look. So the first one, look, three rows of five or five columns of three. So three times five that is, but if it was in columns, it would be five lots of three, five times three. This one, look, two times three okay isn't it two rows of three or if it was in columns it would be three lots of two the bottom one look four rows of five so four times five or if it was going in columns five columns of four five times four now then, let's have a look at this look. The first one's done, so the factor, three times two. So we know as a repeated addition, it would be two add two add two, because it's three lots of two. And you can see there's three groups of two, and is uh, as the array, three rows of two. But we can also do it the other way, which is called the commutative property, do it the other way, two lots of three. But the answer, which is called the product, is 6. I wonder, right, so for 5 times 2, so it's 5 lots of 2, isn't it? So it would be 2, add 2, add 2, add 2, add 2. You draw 5 groups, 5 circles, and put 2 spots or 2 crosses in each. 5 rows of 2, wouldn't you? 5 arrays of 2. And the other way around, it would be 2 times 5. And the product, each answer is the same. It would be 10. I wonder if you could do it for 4 times 3 and 5 times 3. Maybe even try 7 times 2 or 4 times 2. Have a look at this one. Look at these arrays. So that square two rows of two so that would be two times two wonder if you could draw that look at the next one look three 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 so it would be three rows of three <gasps> look at you over here look five 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 it would be five rows of five Look at T, it's five rows of one. Oh, what would that be? Have a think what that would be. It would be three rows of two. So I wonder if you could in your maths book or even if you've got some paper, draw one of them and write me what it would be. Have a go. Look, there's some here, look, that they've drawn with circles. They've done four times three and they've done, so four rows of three, three, four rows of three, three rows of four. But in that four times three, you can see the other way, four threes are the rows and three fours are the columns. This way, three rows of four, four columns of three. So they've just turned it around, haven't they? I wonder if you can draw one of them. There, look, they've done it with cereal and I know Ruby Ann was great at doing these with with cereal at her house, look. Look at two times four, two lots of four, but if you turn it around, it can be four lots of two. Now then, can you make an array for the following? 
6 times 2, 3 times 5, 2 times 10, 8 times 2, 6 times 5, 4 times 3. Use whatever you want. And can you write the multiplication both ways? Are you able to make it? And then are you able to draw it as a representation too? Can you, can you make it both ways? Can you draw it both ways? Have a go. And remember, any work that you send, I would love to be able to see it.